All right, so what I have here is the Premier Rides um, corporate press kit. I got its a logo right here, a little motto, whatever. <laughs> the thrill of being moved. <laughs> so when you first open it up, um, this isn't exactly the same order that it came because I had looked through this quite a bit before. Um, yeah, I couldn't help myself, but got this really cool um, booklet right here goes over a bunch of little specs and information about it you got the chiller right here you've got I believe yeah this is over Texas freeze before the repaint um, and I think this is st. Louis freeze because it's mirrored it would be launching this way because when it ran forward and obviously that's Batman Robin the chiller More stuff they talk about the um, the wonderful premier liquid coaster, which uh, th that that went well, right? Uh, this is Buzzsaw Falls right here. Got Yamaha Racing, Co uh, no Suzuka Circuit. Uh, no, it's Mad Cobra at Suzuka Circuit. It talks about safety. A lot of very interesting information inside here. And you got um, Joker's Jinx at Six Flags America. So yeah, this little booklet, a lot of information, some pretty neat pictures inside. Love this little aspect right here where you flip it open and you just got that cutout right here that shows this image. Love that. Looks great. Um, and then inside we got some pictures of Poltergeist at Fiesta. Got a, another picture of uh, Buzzsaw Falls, Silver Dollar City, um, which is now no longer Buzzsaw Falls. Now pieces of it are used for um, Powder Keg. Love that ride, great ride. Here is some concept art for Speed the Ride, um, which is, oh man, I'm really bummed out this thing doesn't exist anymore. I would have loved to have ridden this thing. Looked really cool. Got some information on the Joker's Jinx, and yeah, Comic Sans. <laughs> you have some signage right here for Speed the Ride. Got a close-up picture of a uh, Mr. Freeze at Over Texas. And note, all of these have the over-the-shoulder restraints. This is before they realized how bad of an idea those over-the-shoulder restraints were. But, love these rides. There you go. The only somewhat normal premier coaster, Runaway Mountain at Six Flags Over Texas. Yeah, It is kind of like a windstorm type layout, if you've seen one of those. Um, but this is a lot smoother than a lot of the other ones. Like this, this ride runs really well. Here's some concept art for um, Silver Dollar City's Buzzsaw Falls. Nice picture of Batman and Robin the Chiller. Yeah, the dueling linear induction shuttle loop coaster. <laughs> Here's some specs on the back. have the diving linear induction shuttle loop coaster. This is Freeze Out Over Texas. I can tell just from the direction the layout goes. I also recognize Gunslinger right here and I recognize all these hotels in the background. Uh, yeah. More information right here. You know, I've seen a lot of different information on this height. I believe RCDV says like 218 feet while in this spec sheet it says 235 feet tall. So there's all kinds of variation. I think also in the ride standard operating procedure, it lists a different height as well. We've got a linear induction catapult coaster, which is, I believe this one's Poltergeist. Oh, hold on, let's see. 
Uh, no, this is just general information for just the model itself, so I don't know if this is Poltergeist or not. But I think it's Poltergeist. Here we have the Premier Observation Tower. This is the one that's at Illich Gardens, I believe. Got some... Whoa! Back on track. Okay. It's the Premier Tower. Um, total height, 330 feet. Or, wait, no. Oh yeah, and the observation platform's at 243 feet. Um, has a footprint of um, 76 foot diameter, looks like. I think that's... Seems about right. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> and right here we have like a um, kind of a script for talking about Joker's Jinx at um, Six Flags America. Another one for um, Silver Dollar City's Bus Off Falls. Uh, another one for um, Speed the Ride. Another kind of a press release thing for just celebrating uh, the new year. <laughs> That's an information on how linear induction motors work. There's some press information about uh, Poltergeist. IAPA Honors Premier Rides. So yeah, there's just a lot of these little um, information packets that go over different stats and information and just general stuff. And right here's a list of installations um, as of 1999. <laughs> So that's it for this side. Let me clear off some space in my desk. I'll cut that out. <laughs> Got like a news article snippet, um, just about Premier Rides in general, but this showcases Joker's Jinx. Another new snippet of uh, Suzuka Circuit's Mad Cobra. Here is a new snippet for Mr. Freeze at Over Texas. I recognize because that's the uh, runway mine train right there. Oh, let's fold a little bit. Got a little bit more coming down. He's backside. Uh, this right here is one of my favorite little pieces. I love this little this diagram right here about what are LAMs and how the stuff works. And what I think is interesting is that this is from 1997, but the colors for this ride, this ride was not like repainted like this until a lot later in the 2000s. I don't remember exactly when. Um, but yeah, it was all just blue on blue until, I mean, recently compared to this, because 1997 was whenever this ride was originally supposed to open, but it got to late to 98. Um, yeah, very interesting to note that the colors are the modern color scheme. So, uh, just interesting. You know, here's a little information booklet on the liquid coaster. Oh, wait, no, this is just a general information booklet. It's got the liquid coaster right here, because I think this is what Premier was trying to sell quite a bit at the time. <laughs> uh, got a bunch of presidential messages. Probably doesn't make sense for me to show you the back and the front cover at the same time. But <laughs> Inside of it. We got Son of Beast right here, the new trains for that. Okay. 
news article about um, the owner of Premier Rides at the time. snippet talking about um, them selling stuff in Japan, which is um, Cobra at the uh, Suzuka circuit. More about Buzzsaw Falls. That's so real city. Thrilling liquid roller coaster lives up to the hype. <laughs> Another one of these that they had for, oh no, yeah, I love this diagram right here. Well, not really much of a diagram, just a collection of art. Mad Cobra, that's what it's called. So yeah, another last little thing about Mad Cobra. So. Yeah, we got this wonderful thing on eBay for probably a bit too much money, but whatever. I'm a nerd. It was pretty cool. <laughs>